Oh my gosh, so it. gross. That is so funny. So welcome back to the road show this morning in the bus brought to you by the Comedy Connection. We are talking about airplane pet peeves because a new poll shows that the top uh, irritants include seat kicking. It's oh, always, it's yeah, just, that's it's, not fun. It's always bad. Line cutting, people being rude to airline staff, mm. standing on moving walkways. Yes, just, oh just move or stand. They're to, a great opportunity to feel like you right, have super yes, speed. Just stand, um, so that you can get, uh, get by and uh, crowding the gate before it is time to board as well. Yes. Yeah. Look, flying can be tough. Uh, we during the summertime we we did see how tough it was you know airlines were, were a bit of a, you know were a mess and stuff they finally got things mm. locked down for for Thanksgiving hopefully it will be uh, equally as as good for the holidays that are coming up with so many people who are traveling yeah we talked about this in our our buzz video that the efficiency yes. I think is what gets to me right. listen uh, if you're standing in that line, you better have ticket in hand because, like, let's get moving. When they call your section or row or whatever, line, move on. You got something to put into the overhead compartment. Yes. Be quick about it. Yes. If you can't lift it, I get it because there are some people. I mean, it is like an awkward it's stretch. Awkward. So it's one right. thing if you need a little assistance. It's another when you are, first of all, putting your bag in so wrong, like the, uh, the wrong way it's supposed to go, and shoving, and shoving, and shoving. <laughs> And it like, gets to the point where you're like, you can shove that five more times. And it's, it's like, Just turn the suitcase right. and it'll go right exactly. in. And then all of us who are waiting with all our, our yes. stuff until yes. we can get to yes. our seat. Yes, I agree. Be efficient. Right. Also, don't hold up the line. Look, my kids are older now, so I don't have, you know, I don't have little ones. But we, we've all been there when you have little, like little babies or little kids. You got to have some sort of patience with the, the the parents and the little ones. It look flying is not is not easy for anybody, and right. then you get little kids on. You know, well, their you ears like the hurt. E yeah. You know, it's it's a weird situation for them. They're not sure what's right. going on. Everyone's you know, crammed in that cramped tiny in. little space. Traveling sounds so much fun, but it, it, you just you got to have patience with them. And yeah. Especially look, if the parent isn't doing anything, and the and the kids running up and down the aisle, that's a problem. That's a problem. But if the parent is sitting there, and you know, you see sometimes, you know, these poor folks are, are flying solo, and they may have a baby with them and a mm -hmm. little kid. Give them a little, a little love, and yeah. you know, try maybe help them out a little bit. Exactly. It doesn't take much. Or help somebody if they're having trouble lifting the thing right. in. Right. Maybe someone who's by themselves, someone older. Just give it a little. Right. Doesn't exactly. Hurt. Doesn't hurt, right? And I've seen that, and that's great. Now I know some people are bugged when like people stand up yes. before it's time to right, exit right, the row. Right. I'm fine with that if you are standing in your own row right. and you know, hey, the, the people yeah. in front of me are going to be fine. It's another, if you come from the back and now hightail it to the front, unless you're running because you need to hit a connection. Yes. I've been there. I've right. been the family in Home Alone sprinting through an airport many a time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I understand that. But it's another when you're just like, can, can you just wait? Right. Can yes. you wait? I, I got it. it. I'm first. There's no need to overpack anymore. Unless you're going for a month, you don't need any more than like maybe one. A little carry on, little bag. That's it. Like oh, there it is. I, I, right? Yeah. Oh, my. I, 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 I can't stand the middle seat, you yeah. guys. Yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's, it's the worst, right? Yeah. And you're tall, so it's I, even harder. I mean, these are lovely people. I just met them <laughs> uh, at, at the gate. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's different. It's, it's a whole experience. Right. Yeah. Right. Are they hogging your armrests? A little, well, <laughs> the invisible armrest, yes. <laughs> well, the T-Rex. Yeah, the T-Rex. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this, it, when it's the middle seat, it's a different vibe. Yes, it is. Is what it is. Yeah, well, I'll do my best here. We're in this f for the rest of the time here. So let's check in with our viewers to see what they have to say. See, this is the problem with the middle seat. You can't see anything. But I'll try. Jackie's up first. She says, okay, Jackie Gilligan, I like the window seat. God, you're just right in the way. My pet peeve is when people cough without covering their mouths. Yeah, that's the absolute worst. Joan is up next. Marcus O. I know people who put their feet up on the side of me and the ones that put their seat down in my lap. Oh, that's the worst. Nathan Mayer is up next sharing his pet peeve. No masks. We are still in a pandemic yeah, and it helps to prevent the spread of germs as well. And Michaela Silva Fredrickson says the woman next to me on a flight last week. Oh my God was eating tuna. Tuna! I can hear Will and Michaela. They are disgusted in the other room because, yeah, that's disgusting. Who eats airport bought tuna on a plane? It was torture. Michaela, I'm terribly sorry. Thank you for sharing that with us, though, because, you know, we can all relate to horrible things like that. Really, where are you headed? Uh, <laughs> please keep those comments coming, and they might be shown right here on the show. Leave your comment on our Buzz topic each morning on Facebook, and you never know. I might read yours right here on the show. I'm just going to run to the bathroom.